<laughs> this is so weird. This is so fucking weird. Oh my God, I feel weird. It doesn't feel right. Okay, let me just tell you something really quickly. If you want to know whether you need to do your hair again, you just hop on a fucking video and you jump in front of the window because right now I look like a 50 year old man with an island. Like what is going on? All right, no, that needs to be sorted immediately. I look like Moses is parting my fucking hairline. Okay, give me one second. Let me just try and sort this out because that was not the fucking agenda. You're not seeing me do this. I'm just gonna skip through. We'll pretend this never happened, it's fine. I've literally not been on YouTube for how long. I jump on and the first thing that happens is I need to sort my fucking hairline out. If you did not know that I was naturally blonde, you can know now, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, so much better. I haven't finished, so much better. And yes, yes, she's back with inches. This is my hair, okay? I haven't even had said hi yet, but I'm just letting you know that this is my hair. And it is really, really fucking long. I mean, we know she's growing because inches, like, look, guys, if you remember how fucking short my hair was, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that this is a fucking moment for me right now. Wait, let me just set the shit in place because it's gonna crumble. What's the start of my channel if it's not fucking chaotic? Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't been on here in so long. I feel really fucking weird. Uh, I was never actually going to come back to YouTube, but I was away from it for so long that I could. Dirty palette. <laughs> I was away from it for so long that I just felt like I should come back and give it another go. I am going to do my updated, well updated, it's been so long. I'm going to do my current um, going out out makeup routine. It's been the same the past few weeks, so it's kind of like literally my go-to at the moment. This is weird. I don't know where to look because I'm filming on my phone. I need to order some new batteries for my camera because I moved and since I moved, I cannot find my batteries. My skin was so clear from the sun because you know how hot it was. And now I want to come back on YouTube. It's saying, no, thank you very much. So I have got a few things I need to cover as well, but I feel so glad to be back. I feel fresh. I feel like I'm not forcing it anymore. And I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see like where, how how I want to do it and like what content I want to put out and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I feel like, I feel like how I felt when I first started YouTube. Watch this be 45 minutes long because you know I like to talk anyway and I have a lot of stuff to say. Mm. Okay, cool. Right, basically what I'm going to do is, I don't know, you know, if I look like I'm looking at the screen, it's because I am because obviously there is the, the the camera whole thing um normally i would have a viewfinder and i can see the camera in that but if i look like i'm looking at the screen a lot because i am using my phone but next time i promise i will be using my camera i say promise to things every time i make a video and i don't really do them so i will try and use my camera next time for sure hello right so what have i been doing what am i gonna do I'm like, I, I'm like, I do this all the time. This is my go-to makeup look. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. Caucasian girl panic. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna use what I have been using. I sound like I've not done this before. I do this every, I've been going out, out. I'm newly single. Also, I've been going out a lot recently. You know, like living my alone, sad, lonely bitch life. Trying to, you know, make myself feel better and shit, but whatever. Um, so this has been my go-to looks. I don't know why I'm talking like I don't do this all the time. Okay, so I'm using Huda Beauty Water Jelly. If you know me as well from my previous videos, you'll know that I don't know loads about makeup. Even though I've been doing it for a long time, I don't know loads, like, I, I, like when people ask me questions, I'm like, I don't really know. I just know that I like the things I like and I don't like the things I don't like. I couldn't tell you why. So if you're here for that, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> I can point you in the direction of someone who does know, but I currently, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know that I, I like these products because I like them. I feel like this is kind of like a sticky primer. It feels a little bit tacky, but not like, not sticky. It just feels a little bit tacky, you know? So I feel like I'd like to put it on first. And then what I do is Insta Strobing Highlighter. Oh my God, why can I never speak? <laughs> okay, Rimmel London Insta Strobing Highlighter. I put this literally... I literally put this everywhere. 
I know people put this normally, like, where they want to highlight. You're not ruining my video, God. You can fuck off. I literally just put it everywhere. Until my neck. This is going to be a long video. I'm not going to fight it. All my videos were long anyway. But I want to know, like... This is fucking glorious. Um, I want to know how you guys were dealing with lockdown, how you're feeling now. Um, what you did to get you through lockdown, because I feel like we haven't talked in ages. I mean, I know we haven't talked in ages. I know we've been talking on Instagram, you and I, me and you, you and I, if you follow me on Instagram. I don't know how, I don't know how you guys on here have been doing. So if you let me know in the comments below, because I will go and have a little read and see what you guys have been up to because i know it was a struggle for everyone um obviously some people are going to struggle more than others but i just want to know how you've been getting on for the foundation i've been being a bit lazy at the moment i've been mixing i don't know if this is lazy or is this more work it's probably more work okay it's more work than i need to do um so this is 100 warm ivory i got a really light shade the light shade in fact and like an in-between shade because in the sun I do tan surprisingly I know I look kind of pale at the moment but I do actually tan so for me to just get one foundation color it's kind of like a ball like for me because I will literally be tanned and then I'll be albino the next week so I got two and I'm going to mix them together and literally I just put like 70% of this and 30% of this um if I'm a bit tanned it always looks a little bit darker on my palette oh my, this is my foundation palette it's dirty, but it's only dirty from foundation, so it's fine. Um, this, yeah, so it always looks a bit darker on here because it's against white, but when I actually put it on my face, it's fine. So just bear with. Okay, so I'm using like this much foundation. No, that much light, like that much of the dark. So it's not really 70 30. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna mix it. I wanna put it on my face. I wanna see if it works. That's not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad at all. <laughs> I swear to God, if this thunder and lightning makes the line go dark, I will have a BF. You want a bitch fit? I'm gonna have a fucking bitch fit at Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, for ruin for ruining my lighting. I hope you can see that because he fully just tried to swing at me. Okay, so this is just my foundation, so I always put it on my ear as well. Bring it down my little neck. Relax. I was joking. Fuck. He said, get a fucking grip. Imagine I got electrocuted right here because I'm sat right by my window. If there's one thing I know about my YouTube videos is that my hair never looks right. Everyone else has got like glorious hair and I'm just like, I'm here for the makeup so my hair doesn't really matter. I have a mirror behind the phone. So if you're like, why is this bitch looking over my head? That is so fucking rude. There's a mirror behind. Okay, so. It's just my foundation. Oh, fuck. Do you know what? I completely forgot. I always do this shit. I forgot that I saw this girl do a video and say, like, I hope my lighting is okay. Also, I've recently had my lips done. And they're still swollen. They're a lot smaller, obviously, but they are still swollen. So that's why they look a little bit like this. I will be so annoyed if the lighting on this is not right. I don't know why I tried to trust Mother Nature um, to... Put it through for my first fucking YouTube video since I've been away. Just saying. Um, but I have obviously switched to a ring light now. I did want it to be natural light, but... Whatever, someone's being fucking salty. So apologies if the lighting changes dramatically. Obviously, we've just got to foundation, so hopefully it should be fine. You guys won't even fucking kill me. I wish the camera was a little bit higher because I keep getting a double chin. Pay. Okay, so... For eyebrows, because I have really coarse eyebrows, what I have been doing recently, I was using 24-hour brow set and I love it, but I have been taking 24-hour brow set and I have been putting hairspray on it. What are you going to do? Shoot me? I doubt it. You have to catch me first. I'm like a whippet. I'm like a whippet. I can't do his accent. I'm like a whippet. Yeah, so I feel like I know, I know, um, I know I don't want to do a channel solely makeup i know that because i like makeup 
I don't love makeup. If a new product comes out, I'm like, oh my God, that's fucking, I need that shit immediately. Do you know what I mean? So like, I feel like if I do solely makeup videos again, I'll end up not liking, liking doing them at all. So I need to mix it up, you know. I need to keep you guys on your toes. You know what's coming next. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of mixing recently and one of my favorite um, concealer combinations to mix is uh, Re Revolution Conceal and Define and Fit Me Foundation. So I've been mixing, because this one's a little bit darker and this is in shade C02 because I don't want a really harsh under eye but I do want it to like so. I won't mix them all, just mix a little bit at a time and I have been putting this Oh my god, give me a fucking break. It actually stinks. Um, I've been putting this on with my finger. I used to put it on with a sponge, a uh, beauty blender, and then I used to put it on with a brush. And I have just found recently that putting it on with my finger works best for me. So that's why I will continue to do. And look at how I'm holding my finger. <laughs> I'm like pushing my finger down like it's a fucking tool. I may have taken like I don't even know how long it's been. It may even be two years off YouTube. I may have even I may have taken two years off of YouTube, or however long it's fucking been. I don't know. But I still swear like a fucking sailor, and I need to stop it. <laughs> Honestly, I swear YouTube like blocks you if you swear too much. They have not done that to me yet, and I am so confused as to why. Surely Bretman and Rock would be like banned from YouTube as well because everything is beach. And then I'll use like, you know, I said that I did it. I, I didn't mix all of it together. I just like kind of mixed it in the middle. So there is some like darker there and then lighter there. I'm going to take some of the little bit darker and put it anywhere that I need to. If I have any um, blemishes that are like prominent, you know, that I raised, I'll just turn them into moles. And I don't put any on my nose yet until afterwards because I always end up putting more on. Do you know what I mean? So I had my whole face dissolved and redone with like a minor filler. So, oh, oh my, fucking hell. Give me a word in edgeways. So on my old videos, I always used to think like my face looks really weird. Like, you know, like I couldn't put my finger on it. Like it was like, just didn't look right. Like it didn't feel like it looked like me. So I always used to feel like, like, I don't know. You know, like if you flip your face over in a video and it just looks weird, like distorted almost because that's not like how you see yourself normally. That's how it felt like I feel like I looked in pictures and videos. I feel like it sort of flipped my face around. So I went to Sarah, SLA, SLA Medical, who does my filler now. And I was like, D like my, I feel like my face looks weird. And she was like grabbing my face. She was like, yeah, you have a shit load of filler in your face. And I was like, no, I've not had any filler on my face for literally like three years, four years. She was like, yeah, it can last like six years. So they tell you, a lot of people will tell you that it only lasts like a year or maybe two years. No, that shit does not leave your face. I had so much in my face. I'm going to do a side by side here so you can see. Like my lips look like a little bit lumpy now, but that's literally not lumpy so much just raised in places. So that's literally because like it's still sore. Like I only had it done the other day, like a couple of days ago. But like my face and my lips now, I'm so much happier with them. I literally had like, had so much filler on my face and it was making me look square. I wish someone had told me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know you guys said it all the time and I didn't listen, but sometimes you know you have to let people figure out for themselves instead of like, you know, trying to bully them into situations. But yeah, I'll do a side by side. And I also did film her dissolving my face and refilling it. So I can, if you guys want to see that, I can show you as well. But at the moment I have like a tiny, tiny bit of foot on my jaw, a tiny bit of it in my cheek, just there and there. And I have like a mil, 1.5 maybe in my lips. And she also gave me a lip lift to bring it up. I still have one side of my mouth that's stronger than the other. If you see when I talk sometimes, I don't know which side is. Which side is it? Hello? I think the lip lift might have like helped that a little bit, but I'm always gonna have one side of my face that's a little bit, you know, like the raises a bit more because my muscles on one side of my face are stronger. Anyway, I'm just so much happier. I feel like my face, I feel like I look like me again. Um, I definitely went filler blind, but also I feel like I was not educated enough when I went and had fillers and things like that because I did not know that I still had stuff in my face and it was making me self-conscious. You know? 
I, it just felt really weird and I wasn't happy with my face. Like I would look in the mirror and be like, why do I look like that? Like I look really hollow here and here. It was weird, but now, yeah, we're back in business. Anyway, so um, this is gold and tan hourglass. I prefer putting contours on my brush first because I feel like it. you don't have to get rid of any lines or anything like that. You just kind of are, are brushing it straight onto your face. So it's not so much like buffing out a straight line. You know, if I was to put it straight on my face, it wouldn't come out as like smooth. You know what I mean? I feel like you're not a YouTuber if you don't do this. Like, why am I doing that? You know, you know what I'm saying without me doing the hand gesture. I was actually so glad when um, I posted on my Instagram and I was like, um, on my story, because I'm very active on my Instagram story. Hint, hint, fucking follow me. Um, I was so surprised and glad by the response I had cause I, when I asked people what I, if I should come back to YouTube. I had so many messages, like, because um, I did it as a question thing, so many responses like, yes, yes, yes. And I was like, bitches, you actually give a fuck about me. Oh. People care about me a little bit. It made me feel nice. And I'll let Kate find I'll come back, even if I do get a lot of shit on her. What the hell, my hair is not doing it today. Frick on a stick. It's just not working with me. Do you know what it is? When I take, because I take my dogs out in the morning, I always have my hair in a bun and then I always brush it down. And always, regardless of what the fuck is happening, like what the weather's like, it always feels greasy. Like, no, I'm going on the internet. Can you not? Okay, so this is Nude in Bondi Bay. I like this contour stick because it comes with a brush and I love this brush for contouring my nose. It's a little bit of a thicker um, consistency than this one and I just prefer it for my nose contour only because I can get a proper sharp. And I just prefer it because I can get a proper sharp um, line and i'll use the brush on this side surprise surprise for okay. and then i'll go in with c2 in the revolution conceal and define i'm just gonna go a tiny bit there a tiny bit there just a smidge there because i'll push it up my nose a little bit there just to add a bit more lightness without being like really you know, I can see the girls in my group chat um, saying my name. <laughs> I'm like, I'm busy. They're like, wow, Kayla. So I'm like, okay, what have you found? Or what have I done? What have I done? Okay, and then I will use um, my clean uh, HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Loose Powder. I love this powder. Holly did an amazing job with it. Um... It looks very airbrushed when you put it on correctly. You know what? I forgot to say this earlier. I started saying it and then I stopped. I saw a video saying if you don't put um, foundation on underneath your eyes and you just put concealer, then you won't get as many creases. And that's what I had been doing. So I started saying that earlier and I know I stopped. My hashtag ADHD brain. Um, so I have creases under my eyes, but I did do it the other day and it actually worked. I'm trying to like smooth out. It's probably not going to help. I'm just going to smooth out and then put, press that in there. Try and get rid of that shit. And I'll literally just put this anywhere that I wouldn't contour. Does that make sense? So I've tried to put it up to the line of my contour on my nose. I'll put it down here and along. Even though I will put a bit of bronzer there, um, just because that's where I want it to stand out a bit more even though this is a translucent powder it still does brighten um and obviously set wow was that even fucking necessary girls got a real fucking attitude today and i do not appreciate it i'm just trying to work what are you doing throwing a fucking fit over nothing okay so for my eyebrows let me come in closer oh my knees i'm old as shit oh my god Pins and needles so bad. Oh my god. Ah, fuck. ah, did I cut myself? Oh, I did. You know what? Anyone says YouTube gurus are not fucking dangerous. I just almost killed myself. Oh, do you know what it is? These pins and needles in my feet. Yeah, I'm sure it was very funny. 
So this is the Brow Micro Filling Pen in 9MO, I think. That really hurt. Okay, so I'm going to start here and I'll brush down the tail. And when you do your eyebrows, you want to think about what direction you want them to go in. Because <laughs> they don't just have to go down, you know. I always bring mine out a little bit, even though mine goes down. Ah, no! Ugh. Oh, pins and needles is weird, isn't it? Because it's not an actual pain. It's more like the most annoying thing ever. Oh my God, it's fucking raining right in the window. I swear to God. When you think about your, your eyebrow tail, I feel like a lot of people just feel like they have to go down just because that's where the eyebrow hair is pointing. And I don't. I will always, I know it goes down a bit, but I will always go from like the middle and pull it out a little bit like that. You see how it's not, it looks a bit weird, but it's fine. And then... I'll go from the top and bring that down, you know, like that. And then I'll bring the bottom in a little bit, like this, you know? So this side is going down, but this side is not because it's not a fucking sheep and it does what it wants. Be independent, live your life, love the life you live, you know what I mean? I swear to God, if this fucking tip tap in rain, how do I push my window away? This rain needs to piss off. Hopefully I can edit it out. What if I can't? Oh, fuck's sake. Am I gonna have to move? This is a really good place for my phone though. Do we mind? Do we mind the tip top into the rain? Is it soothing? Are you asleep? Okay, well, I'm just gonna try and edit it out and I apologize if you if you can hear the rain, guys, just, just be soothed by it. Please don't be enraged. I'm probably gonna get fucking death for it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I've, I'm literally, I'm, it's like this, but I'm not going to use it that way. I'm going to use it this way. And I use like the end tip just to put like microblading um, brush strokes in. G gently, very gently with your hand. We don't want a fucking Anastasia Beverly Hills dip pomade situation again. And I know you know what I'm fucking talking about because it was me. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a really fucking good eyebrow. <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm gonna skip to the other eyebrow um, because realistically, it's probably just gonna be sounds of rain and thunder anyway. And I will come back in a second. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, this eyebrow, I don't feel like it came out as, I don't feel like it came out as well because I didn't have the pressure of you guys watching me. I got a bit sloppy and a bit fucking ballsy. It's not bad, but it's just not as good. I feel like this is a really fucking good eyebrow. All I want to say is if you know, you know, this is an OG brush. I've used this for my eyebrow for fucking years. I'm going to take this Revolution Concealer. It's the C21. I'm just going to brush it in there. Wow. Obviously, I would choose to film when there's a fucking thunderstorm. Yeah, I feel they went pretty well. They went pretty well. Another good job well done. Right, so for my eyes, what am I seeing? Hello? What am I doing? Okay, so I'll put this um, nude Bondi base stick and I'll literally close my eye and put it in the corner and then just bring it around in like a flick like this. Because when I... When I... Um, brush it out it's gonna be like really amazing and like unbelievable seriously and then i use the end of this and i'll just do circular motions and flick the end up and then bring it back down towards me like that literally unbelievable that was just ugh she stuck the fucking landing ladies and gentlemen look at that i'm gonna take this little brush i don't know what this brush is called you know me i don't really know my brushes oh this is the Revolution Buffing Eye Crease Brush R3. I'm gonna take literally any brown color ever made. This one. <laughs> oh, it's called Game Changer for the Mi Mrs. Glam Showstopper palette. But literally any warm light brown ever made. In my crease a little bit and that. Just to define it a bit more. A bit more of definition for your girl. Then I'll take like a fluffy brush. This is Fenty Beauty. Okay, it doesn't say. It's just a, oh, I have a little cramp in my finger. Um, this is just like a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna, there's nothing really on it. I'm just gonna buff over that. 
then, then, and only then, this is the Gold Rush, oh sorry, this is Gold Crush palette from Revolution. And I'm going to take Intrusive here, because it's just like a dark colour, and I put a little bit on my tip, and I'll just put like a dab, a little bit here. I know you're thinking, oh my god, that's really harsh, like what the fuck. I might bring it up and blow it out higher as well. You're thinking this bitch is going crazy. She's not even blending it, but don't worry about it because it doesn't need blending. Okay, then I take Benefit Roller Liner, which is my favorite liner. And I'm going to start from like the middle of my eye. I'm not going to do it the whole way across. I'm just going to do a little line down there. I don't, this is hard to explain. I'll just show you. And then I have the brush like flat and then I bring it. Up. like this and bring it down I just like that there's a little bit of haze at the top of it from the eyeshadow it's not a lot, it's just like a little bit but I still I just bloody love it and then if it's like quite a big curve I will put the tiniest line here to just bring it down a bit more that's a really good eyeliner, oh my god who is she? What I will say is if you have to draw like a, a line, instead of going this way, I always go this way because then the end's gonna be a little bit sharper. So you see how I did it like that? I'll do it from here. And I never go right at the top. I always go just a little bit down. She's going in the danger zone. There's only so long you can fucking make it. I mean, not really, but. Okay, this eye is always worse than this eye. Always, without fail. I don't know what it is. We just fucking deal with it. Okay, so after I do that, I always brush off my bake. I have done this forever, I don't know why. I do my eyes and I do my bake and then I do my mascara last. So I'm gonna brush off my bake with this little NYX Cosmetics Set 26 brush. 2-9 sculpting powder brush. And I shall taketh my NARS Paradise Found bronzer. And just go over, this is mainly, I mean it will obviously warm my face up more, but it is mainly just to set my contour. Because I have had a few people like, um, say why do you contour and then bronze? This is just, gen this is just really to set it and like just bronze up anywhere that I need a little bit more. I will put a bit there. My neck gets the least amount of tan. I don't look tanned at all, I never look tanned in my videos and I genuinely am tanned. Ah! Uh, if I have brown eyeshadow, I will hold my hair back like this and just pull it in a bit from my eye. Uh, I'm going to use Mean Money and Hustler Baby combined. It's this one, this. Mainly Mean Money, but just a tiny bit of Hustler, Hustler Baby. I'll use my finger, I always have done, to do my highlight and I just do a tiny bit on the end of my nose and a tiny bit there. I don't go the whole way around because you're going to elongate your nose that way. Just a tip, and a tip like an exclamation point. Uh, then I'm going to actually use the tiniest bit and put it on here, my little lid. I feel like it lifts it a bit more. And a tiny bit there. I am going to go in as well. Um, because I've been liking my eyes to look a little bit lifted. We know naturally my eyes are on the floor. Um, not even joking. They genuinely are so low down on the ends. That they look like they've been stapled up to my face. And they are starting to slip again. So I've been lifting the end of my eye more. And then putting my little. You know the little bits in the corner. I'm just gonna go over it a tiny bit with my eyeliner, just a tiny bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a brown pencil and just put that in here. You know, so it's a bit more like connected. That was a too stressful for the actual fucking activity. There was no need. Okay, obviously I'm using Warm Soul from MAC. 
I've had this for years. I've only just hit parent. Can you believe it? I can't. I can't. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. I want to do like, you know, like the cute, like a crosshair blush, but it just doesn't look right on me. Maybe because I'm not 15. I don't know. You know what I mean? It just looks so cute on other people and on me it looks like a little bit like... Are you embarrassed? But for real? <laughs> I look I'm in sunburn, but like to a point when you're like, do you need some help? Do we to get you something? An ambulance maybe? I'm going to use this... Um, wow, what did I just say? I'm going to use this pen. <laughs> To do one there because I've got wait which I've got two. Hmm. Hmm. That's the thing you don't want to do too many. Well, look weird though. It'll look like one of those piercings, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I'll do one there. Right, and then I'm going to set my face. After I set my face, I do my lips and my mascara. This is Professional Super Sour. I use two setting sprays normally. Let that dry. And then I use this Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. See, I like this, but it's so... It's very aggressive. I have to hold it so far away. Just layer that shit. <laughs> so profesh. Okay, while my blade just came from under the ground, while um, my eyelashes are just drying a bit more so I can put some mascara on them, I'm gonna use this is Laura Mercier Mercier Intense Moonlight. I'm just gonna put that along my waterline here. On the outside. Oh shit. What's happened? Oh, she dried out. Okay, she's dried, so I'm just switching it over. A little hack for you. If it dries out, you can just turn it around. Uh -huh. Okay, mascara. I'm using, obviously, I'm using Roller Lash from Benefit because I love that shit. I'm only putting it on my top lashes. Obviously, it'll probably go on my bottom lashes anyway just because of when I close my eyes, but um, I don't put any on there. See how it just kind of like lifts my eye, whereas before it was sliding off my face. You like it? It's good. I know you've seen that TikTok. It's good. You want it? No, thank you. Okay, for um, lips. I actually went back to... Oh, fuck. Oh, for lips, I actually went back to doing uh, an old favourite of mine. I used to use this combination all the time. Not so much the lip liner, but the lipstick. This is MAC Honey Love. And I used to be obsessed with Honey Love, honestly. This is Praline by... Praline? 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 By Peaches and Cream. So this is my Ow Ow makeup look. I have been doing this for like weeks. I've told you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know because all of my going out out pictures will have this makeup look in. Uh, apologies at the start, the lighting wasn't the best. I didn't realize until I put my ring light on. I thought I could get away with it, but mother nature was like, no bitch. Now I finished filming or I'm about to finish filming. The, th the thunder is gone and the sun is coming out, which is fucking 10 out of 10. We love that, but um, yeah, I hope this video was easy to follow for you guys. Um, I actually love filming it and I am glad to be back. And I do feel like it was kind of like a test to see how I would feel. I do feel like I'm, I am back on YouTube now. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It was fun to film again, guys. I feel like I feel like I got myself back a little bit. I feel like I'm glad that I took that break off and... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will try and get this edited and uploaded tonight. Not that you would know, because you don't know when I'm filming it. <laughs> hey guys, if you don't already follow me on 
Instagram. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram because I'm a lot more active on there anyway, especially on my stories. Um, yeah, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for the love throughout the years, whether I'm here or not. And I love you guys so much. And I will definitely, definitely see you very soon in my next video. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Love you, bye.